Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll be walking you through the day in the life of an economic consultant. So at about 7.30 in the morning, I start my day with my 70 cent iced coffee and read a book for about 30 minutes. For me, this time is very therapeutic and helps me get a kickstart to my day. I highly recommend that everyone does something before work or school. It has made the biggest difference in my life, especially with this pandemic going on. It's super important to meditate or gather your thoughts before tackling a big day. Leave a comment down below and tell me about what your morning routine is. So, a typical day will start with me reading and responding to emails. A lot of clients can be on different time zones, so usually you log in and have a fair amount of emails to respond to. During this time, I also brief my calendar to see what deadlines are approaching and also to see what other meetings I have for the remainder of the day. In economic consulting, it's very crucial to stay organized and on top of your projects. Sometimes one project can take weeks or months to complete. And during this time, you will have instances where the project went silent for a few days, which makes it very easy to forget about it. A solid trick to keep all your tasks organized is to get a physical calendar and update it every single day. I use Outlook Calendar as well, but sometimes it can have some glitches or errors, so I trust using a pen and paper for this. Yeah, call me old school. The next part of my day is attending Zoom meetings. These meetings can vary. Typically, the first meeting is a team one. During this, we discuss what projects we're working on and how far along we are with those projects. During this call, you will also discuss and let the team know what your workload is for the remainder of the week. The reason behind this is that senior managers and consultants know what your availability is for another project or if they need to know who they can bring on a new project for more assistance. After the team meeting, I will usually have some meetings with the clients. During these meetings, you will let the client know where you are with the project and also ask any questions you may have with the data. A lot of times, there will be questions regarding the raw data. Keeping a strong and clear communication with the client is extremely critical for the project to be completed. You will also update the client on new findings that you have come across during your analysis. If you have already discussed your analysis, then you walk them through the economic model that you have created and open the floor to any questions. After I get done with my meetings, I start my first coding session of the day. There is a fair amount of coding that goes into this job. We tend to use SAS and R for majority of our modeling and analysis. You will often find yourself juggling more than one case at a time. So I tend to split my coding sessions up per case. It helps me stay organized so I don't accidentally mix two projects up. I also prioritize projects with more tight deadlines over which ones I was assigned at first. One thing I learned very early in economic consulting is that no two data sets are going to be the same. So this will require you to think outside of the box and problem solve. A quick tip however, Google will be your best and closest friend throughout your journey. During my lunch, I take my cat Simba out for a walk. This really helps me clear my mind and get some fresh air in. It's important to take a step back and get your mind clear. This will help prevent burnout or coding blocks. All right, back to some more coding. So a lot of people ask me, what was my road to economic consulting? Well, I started by obtaining my economics degree. I developed a love for econ very early in my college career. I always had a dream to work in this field, so I took more math and stats classes that were not required for my degree because I knew that if I wanted to work in Econ, Calc 1 and Stats 101 would just not cut it. I ended up taking all the way up to Linear Algebra and some pretty intense stats courses. When I graduated, I took a job in banking because at the time, that was every business major's dream. So I ended up at one of the world's largest and prestigious banks. However, I was quick to learn that banking was not for me, so I decided to make a change and had no idea what I was gonna do. I knew I was good at math and I loved economics. So I called up one of my old professors and asked him for some advice and he advised me to give economic consulting a shot. And so I did. And I've loved every bit of it ever since. So I know that was a very quick summary on how I became an economic consultant, but if you have any other questions, feel free to ask down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to respond. So back to the video. I end my day with some final meetings with clients and update them on everything I did for the day. Typically, this is more of a Q&A session regarding the case. I also let the client know what will be the next steps and ask if they would like any additional information. Well, this brings us to the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time, stay smart.